Hello, this is Rolf from Tesla Owners US and maybe not any more Tesla Owners US, you tell me, because we are with our Silverado RST on the road again and we are on the way back. We had a nice couple of days and the rest comes after the intro. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Yeah, guys, we had a very smooth drive up here uh, to Flagstaff and we, I'm really amazed about that good suspension of that Silverado EV. It has air suspension like the Cybertruck. It actually, actually has almost all features like the Cybertruck with one more feature which the Cybertruck does not have because the Cybertruck should come with full self-driving. But I'm, I'm talking about this is Silverado first edition EV and the other one a foundation of a series which is very comparable and sure this car I can show you later in more pictures and I will also do a complete report about why I selected this car instead of the Cybertruck uh, I don't want to get uh, robbed in the wilderness from the uh, chipmunks or what are the other animals the raccoons they are scratched down in a cyber truck because they thought it was a dumpster and then I did not want to uh, have the, my whole uh, back of the trailer hitch being ripped off because I'm pulling on something too tough and uh, this one is a very sturdy car with 9,000 pounds 4,000 kilos uh, cross weight and it, as an excellent driver so I know the Cybertruck has air suspension and uh, when I'm comparing it with the air suspension of the Model X, the air suspension on the, of the Model X was already very good. But what was, what this car has on air suspension is so smooth that even the biggest potholes on a load you do not notice. You do not notice. It drives so smooth. And that's only on normal setting. You can make it even smoother if you want to. So if you prefer to. That's why I'm very convinced about this. And for the hauling and trailering, this is better. Because Cybertruck does not have full self-driving yet, still after nine months or so. And it has advanced autopilot or ad autopilot or maybe advanced autopilot. I don't know. You guys tell me. But this one has super cruise and super cruise on highway you can turn it on it keeps the lane keeps the distance keeps the speed and does automatic lane change and with the trailer <laughs> you know you have to look at some of my movies without the trailer because I had some of them uh, uh, I drove the Model Y where I had full self driving uh, and then I connected the trailer to it and it was always coming too short that was actually not made for that I used the trick to tip, to turn the trailer mode off in order to do full self driving and that didn't go didn't go well this car even calculates the trailer lens with it and gives you enough room when you do super cruise and automatic lane change so that you can do the lane change including a trailer so that is very nice that is very very nice so what did we do uh, show you some pictures maybe they're running also already in the background we went to the volcanoes here outside of Flagstaff there is a volcano crater landscape there and very nice made uh, some small trails there something about the history and uh, a couple of thousand years ago there were volcanoes here in Flagstaff Nobody would thought about that, how were the volcanoes coming. But you can see the volcano ground, the 
all the typical volcano stones and you can read about the history and all of that so we had a nice days couple of days we are on the way home and i give my wife full power to get home we recharged this time at four we made a little stop now we have to intense intentionally stop and not stop at the supercharger or at the charger because now we're good doing our drives all the way through including a trailer and stop we have to stop for food right and this time we stopped for food for a little brunch or a lunch and we did it now we are on the way we're leaving the nice landscape here as you can see that uh, pine wood landscape close to Munz Park here and we are going towards back to Phoenix in the heat so there is one more what I really like so if you are going really steep downhill and the trailer is pushing as well it's I'm getting 145 kilowatt return into the car so and basically it utilizes uh, let me see when I'm I, mean, I can show you that uh, here maybe yeah 181 kilowatt back into the car so that regenerative braking is a lot for that car so super amazing and uh, this is more than a Cybertruck does yeah. so we are already passing Cap Verde we are quick on the road so 70 to 75 miles this goes downhill and yeah that's but that's really the maximum 75 miles 120 kilometers is the maximum and what we notice also is as soon as you have trailer mode on it recalculates depending from the load weight of the trailer that what's your remaining range so it's not lying to you like the model x would do or the model y and said you can get that far and when you have the way through then the, you are gone your range is gone no it immediately shifts the range and lowers the range so like the last time we had almost 450 miles range with the car we connected the trailer it says 272 so and that does it the same way here so it recalculates the range and it tells you the true range when you're pulling a trailer big advantage so and I, I complain many times about it with Tesla that it's so easy as soon as you switch it that to onto trailer mode like here it is easy right so you, you go this one and then drive modes and then one of the drive modes here is actually tall and haul mode and <coughs> that turns off and this drive mode then tells you hey your range is limited because of what you put on the trailer and that Tesla should have that since a long time but it didn't and this car has it and because we are using this car for uh, well we want to use this car for hauling and trailering and that's why not a good feature so we are coming close to home now it was a very convenient drive and uh, it's getting warm now in here in the valley it's over 100 again uh, but at we at least 102 is it now at least we dodged the heat of 115 on the weekend that was good and we are going through the valleys now and my wife said she could even drive another 100 miles if she want to and we are currently 46 percent left on the uh, and could drive another 115 miles like this and I already driven probably let me say 140 miles or so yeah so we drove through the desert and uh, we will be home soon we made it back home yes and uh, I can turn the trailer mode off now because I disconnected it and let me show you actually what I know oh no no music yes okay 
let me show you what that trip in for 162 miles 1.1 kilowatt 33 percent left driving between 70 and 75 so or between 65 and 75 that was a lot and we were quick home all in one swing awesome guys awesome smooth drive my wife said she could drive another 100 miles if that's that's okay with her and then uh, now we're already home so it was a smooth and nice drive for us and now i can change the drive modes now it was on tolling as you can see here let's go back to normal actually i have to bring the trailer back let me let, let me leave it on tow i have to bring the trailer back so in storage okay that's it and 77 miles left you see that there i could drive another 77 miles with this trailer attached so that was all subscribed and uh, talk to you later we will do a comparison with the cyber truck soon I rise from the ashes.